Jung So Min didn't speak to her father for nearly a decade. He wanted her to get a higher education, but she had her heart set on becoming an actress. Even though it was her dream, her father didn't approve. Can you imagine not speaking to your own father for that long? I'm sure it wasn't easy for either of them. Let's find out more about the Alchemy of Soul star. Here are 12 things Jung So Min doesn't want you to know. It's hard to imagine why a father would stop talking to his daughter for 9 years, but that's exactly what happened with Jung So Min. Her father is a wealthy man and the head of a private company in Korea. He wanted her to get a good education and wasn't happy when she expressed interest in acting. Eventually, she was awarded a scholarship based on her acting skills, and her father relented, allowing her to pursue it as a profession. Once she became successful, she mentioned in an interview that she had refrained from talking to her father for those nine years because he was against her chosen career path. A mature Jung now regrets her action as she was young and rebellious then. Although celebrities live their lives in public, some celebrities like to keep a low profile in their private lives. Jung So Min is one of these celebrities who isn't extroverted and doesn't like having her life published everywhere. A fan once asked So Min what her MBTI type was through Instagram stories. She then answered that she is an INFJ, which means that she is an introvert. Even more, she emphasized this while on a talk show and stated that she needs her own separate space. But since she lives with her parents, there are times she doesn't feel comfortable even in her own room. Emotionally, she needs her own space and time for herself. People have to understand such desire because privacy is something that really matters, especially for a celebrity whose life is almost known and published in the public eye. Jung So Min's longest relationship was with Lee Jun, her co-star in Father is Strange. They became a couple in 2017 and were dating for three long years. However, in 2020, their agencies confirmed that the couple have broken up due to schedule conflicts. So Min revealed that even if she was in a relationship, she would still prefer to respect each other's personal space due to her introverted nature and need for alone time. As for her ideal type, she wants a man who is sensitive and caring. Because words of affirmation are her love language, she'd prefer someone with kind words and gentleness. She made her acting debut in a short film starring the great actor Kim So Hyun. Sometimes actors and actresses don't succeed at getting the attention of viewers as they are fresh and not used to the job. That, however, wasn't the case with her when in 2009, Jung So Min got her debut through the short film, Worst Friends. The film was part of a college graduation project. She managed to impress other filmmakers and showed that she's a very talented actress with a lot of potential. Thanks to her popularity and the support of her fans, she's been in high demand and has starred in many films. Although Jung So Min loved to act and wanted to pursue an acting career from a young age, Education is still considered to be a priority for her. She graduated from the Korean National University of Arts. In 2011, Jung So Min took a short break. She put her studies first before continuing her acting career. She wanted to earn her degree from the Korea International University of Arts. Other known graduates from the same school are Kim Jong Hyun, Choi Sung Hyun, and Kim Go Yoon. Jung So Min starred in the sitcom Can We Get Married and felt awkward when she had to film an intimate scene with Sung Joon. Her role in the series was much more challenging than the role she had acted before. Jung was initially feeling very awkward for the intimate scenes, but in the end it was a non-issue during the set filming. However, while watching the show at home with her parents, the atmosphere was embarrassing as her parents became quieter as the intimate scenes went on. On August 2022, Jung signed with her fifth agency since her debut. TH Company, home to talented actors such as Kang Han Nul and Huang Wu Sol Hee. In 2013, Jung So Min was a talent under SM Entertainment. This company was known to house K-pop powerhouses such as EXO and NCT. 
After four years, she signed with Jellyfish Entertainment. Finally, in 2019, she settled with Blossom Entertainment. Hopefully, she'll find a true home this time and get the opportunities to showcase her capabilities. Jung So Min is not only an actress, but also a talented and gifted singer. In fact, she has contributed vocals to the official soundtracks of two of her dramas, Because This Is My First Life and The Smile Has Left Your Eyes, the latter of which saw her participating in writing the lyrics and was a duet with her leading man in the show, Seo In Guk. The cute and talented Jung So Min had a dream when she was a child to become a radio DJ. Thankfully, she got to experience what it was like to be inside a DJ booth. This was one of the things in her bucket list when she was young. In 2018, she had a radio show titled Jung So Min's Young Street. The show was broadcasted through SBS Power FM. On the program, she got to chat with the likes of Kim Jae Wook, Day 6 and 17. It is clear that her dream came true, which shows that she put a lot of effort to become who she is and making her dreams come true. Loving kids shows how pure, innocent, and a great person she is. People love Jung So Min for her innocence, the innocence which made her love kids and made kids love her too. Back in 2019, she participated in Lil Forest, a variety show where celebrities were assigned to take care of young toddlers. Her ability to connect with children shone through during the task, which she did very well. In fact, until today, she continues to post the fun-loving pictures and reels of her cute nieces and nephews on her Instagram page. Aside from loving kids, she is also an avid dog lover. She has a pet black dog named Modu, with whom she likes to spend her time at home with. She always expresses her love for dogs and exclaims how cute they are. She is always seen petting and hugging her dog in her Instagram pictures. This shows how cute a person she is. Having a YouTube channel is one of the most successful decisions a person could ever make. Although Jung So Min is an introvert, she still sometimes lets her fans have some glimpses of her everyday life. On her YouTube channel, you can find how much she loves kids and her dog. She posts videos about the bond with her nieces and nephews, and even some BTS moments of her acting projects, which is really great because it allows her fans to get to know her more as much as they desire. She keeps her own space, yet she likes her fans and shows them her lifestyle and her love for her nieces, nephews, and dogs. After all, Jung So Min is a very great actress who impacted a great number of people. A lot of people love her for her person and her innocence. She deserves the best for what she has been through. From her father's insistence on her dreams coming true.